the future of horn genetic and biotechnology is bright with new advancements set to boost yield and improve key traits. Traditional breeding methods are now exchanged by double haploid, speeding up the creation of pure genetic lines. Modern tools like transformation, genomic and molecular marker and gene sequencing help scientists better study and modify the corn genome. These technologies accelerate corn improvement and exchange treat like dough resistant, pest resistant and nutrition. As this advancement continue, corn will play an ever bigger role in global food supply and agriculture. The gene use, the use of a gene from the Bt for insect resistant as an example of a gene that has been integrated into corn germ press through transformation. This Bt gene produces a protein that is toxic to certain insects, providing the corn with built-in protection against this pest. Next, the method of biotechnology. Firstly, gene identification. Scientists identify a gene that provides beneficial traits like resistance to pests, diseases, or environmental stress. This gene can come from the same species or different one. Second is vector construction. In God company, the desired gene is inserted into a vector, which is a DNA molecule used to transfer the gene into the target organism. Common vectors include plasmid, virus, and artificial chromosomes. Third, transformation. The vector containing the gene of interest is introduced into the plant cell. There are several methods for doing this, including agrobacterium mediated transformation. A soil is used as a natural gene transfer agent. It has the ability to insert DNA into plant cell. Second, biolistic transformation. DNA is coated onto tiny particles such as gold and trusten and then shoot into plant cell using a gene gun. Third, electroporation. Plant cells are made probability to DNA by applying an electric shock, allowing the DNA to enter the cell. And lastly, polytelline glycol mediated transformation is used to facilitate the uptake of DNA by plant protoplasts, plant cells without cell walls. Next is selection of transformed cell. After transformation, cells that have successfully incorporated the gene of interest are selected using a marker gene that confers resistance to antibiotic or herbicide. Only the transformed cell survives when exposed to the selective agent. Next, generation of transgenic plant. The transformed cells are cultured and include two forms, cellic, which are then stimulated to generate into the whole plant. Six, molecular analysis and confirmation. The present and expression of the transgene in the generate plant are confirmed through molecular techniques such as PCR, southern bolting, and northern bolting. Field testing and evolution. The transgenic plants are evaluated in controlled environment and then in the field trials to access the expression of the transgene, its stability, and the overall performance of the crop. Lastly, regulatory approval. Before commercialization, the transgenic crop must undergo rigorous testing and receive approval from regulatory agencies to ensure its safety for human consumption and the environment. Result of the application, firstly, exchange traits. The introduction of specific genes can lead to improved traits in crops such as increased yield, resistant to pests, tolerate to herbicide, and resilient to environmental stress like draw of salinity. Second, agriculture benefit. Transgenic crops can reduce their risk for chemical pesticide and herbicide, leading to lower production costs and potentially less environmental effect. They can also improve crop productivity, contributing to food security and economic benefit for farmers. And lastly, regulatory and ethical consideration. The application of gene transfer in transgenic crop is subject to strict regulatory oversight to ensure safety.
there are also ethical consideration and public perception treat influence to adoption and acceptance of genetically modified organism. For the conclusion, the use of gene transfer technologies in crop breeding has greatly improved agriculture productivity and sustainability by adding genes from treat like pest resistant, herbicide tolerant and better nutrition, transgenic crops can boost food security, reduce environmental impact and increase farmers' profits. However, these technologies are still under regulatory, security and public debate. Ongoing research and dialogue are need to ensure their safe use. As science advances, we will be able to make even more practice and beneficial modification to crop genomes, exchange their advantages and minimizing risks. So that's a reference that I get. That's all for me. Thank you.